The Siemens VDO tachograph is showing local time which in this case is UTC plus one hour as depicted by the plus sign after the time. The default mode is rest which you need to change to other work insert your card, chip side up and facing forward. You are then welcomed with both the 15-13 hours local time, 14-13 hours UTC time displayed. The VDO will show the date and time that your card was last withdrawn. You will be asked if you want to make a manual entry. The default answer is yes if you leave the VDO and do not enter anything. A warning will flash up to ask that you please enter something. If you don't make an entry, the tachograph will assume that you don't wish to make a manual entry and will automatically jump to today's date and time. Once it has done this, you cannot make any amendment to the card, so do not delay in entering your manual entry. If you press the OK button whilst the warning is flashing, it will allow you to continue. You will be shown the date that was last entered onto your card, which in this case is the 1st of July 2022 and the time of 1 o'clock, the date and time that you removed your card from the VU. The system will ask if you want to make a manual entry. The default setting is yes, but you can change this to no by using the up and down arrows. By pressing the OK button, you acknowledge that you want to make a manual entry. The screen now defaults to show the date and time that your card was removed on the top line and on the bottom line, is the current date and time along with the option in the left-hand corner to select the mode that you were on, following the removal of your card. The assumed mode is rest and the symbol flashing to denote this. As you had to return your keys and paperwork to the office, you need to show that you were on other work, which is the correct mode. Use the up or down arrow to select the crossed hammers symbol and select OK. The cursor moves across to the current date. In this case it is the 11th of June, so you need to use the down arrow to revert this date back to the first. The cursor now jumps to the current time which is 15-13 hours. You need to change the time to show that you did 15 minutes of additional time at the end of your last shift. Note that it doesn't have to be 15 minutes, you only need to enter the time that it took you to finish your shift. By using the down arrow to change the flashing cursor from 15 to 01 hours and press the OK button. The cursor now makes the minutes flash and by using the down arrow, you can change it from 00 minutes to 15 minutes and press the OK button. The top line now shows the amended finish time and the cursor flashes over the rest sign. As you have now finished your shift, select rest as being the correct mode and press the OK button. The cursor then moves over to today's date which is what you will want to keep. So again, press the OK button. The cursor now moves over to the hour symbol which flashes. As this is the correct hour, select OK and the cursor moves over to the minute sign. Assuming that you came on duty at 1500 hours amend the flashing minute sign by pressing the down arrow. Upon reaching 1500, select the OK button to confirm your selection. The display now shows the date and time at the top of the screen as the time that you stated that you had started. You now need to change the flashing rest symbol to other work and again select OK. The cursor now jumps to the minutes, which is the current time and as this is correct, select OK to confirm. You are then asked to confirm the start country. If it hasn't defaulted to UK or United Kingdom, use the up arrow to change the country. When you reach UK, select the OK button. You will then be asked to confirm your manual entry. By selecting yes, your entries are confirmed and there is no going back. However, if you select no, you will be taken back to the start of your entry and you can start over again, but it will take you step by step through the choices that you had previously made. If you are satisfied with your choice, press OK and move on. If not, select no and press the OK button to continue. I will show you in this demo. I will make an error on the mode and enter other work when it should have been on rest and for good measure will select the wrong date. Watch what happens when I go through the selection again. The time that my card was removed is correct. Mode of crossed hammers is correct. But I finished on the first and not the second. So I acknowledge the crossed hammers and highlight the date and change the second to the first and press OK. The hour and minutes of finishing are correct so I accept and press OK. The screen now defaults to show the time that I finished my shift on the top line but notice that the flashing cursor is highlighting other work. When I finished my shift, I should have set this the mode to rest. I now do this and press OK. As it scrolls through the date and time, these are correct so I press OK and move on. 
I am now confident in my selections and press yes to confirm my manual entry. Finally, you have to wait until the pictogram on the left-hand side next to the rest mode converts from a solid box to a box with a window on the top. This signifies that the VDO and card have finished swapping information and that you are now ready to drive. 